So hot take, something I love about older movies is that they have the credits at the beginning of the film rather than the end. The credits and opening title sequences have really awesome design. Whether it's the font, the color palette, the animation, the motion, it really sets the tone for what you're about to watch. In the same way, I like to use these grand title cards in my own YouTube videos, setting the stage for an adventurous travel vlog or a cozy night in in my apartment. Motion graphics templates from Adobe Stock make it simple and easy for you to create these cinematic title sequences in your own videos. So let's dive right into my process. If you're a bit intimidated, you're new to graphic design and fonts, it's okay. If you don't know where to start, Adobe Stock has a wide range of motion graphic templates for you to choose from, and they have one for pretty much every project imaginable. Plus, the templates are customizable, meaning you can choose the color palette, select your own fonts, and adjust the aspect ratio. So so it fits whatever your project needs. If you're stuck on what font to use, look to your favorite films, your environment, and designs for inspiration. For example, my latest trip to Tokyo, I found inspiration in the Japanese street signs I saw. Lots of sans serif and bold colors, so I searched for fonts that match that vibe. I get my typefaces from Adobe Fonts. They have a huge variety, so here are a few of my favorites, my go-tos, and their use cases. A classic font and a personal favorite of mine is Baskerville. I like that it comes in multiple weights. You can italicize it. It feels timeless, but if you want something a bit more modern but still serif, you can check out Roca, which I'm using for this video. For a vintage look, I like to use Fimotype Yale. It's the perfect cursive. And for a script, Gardez is funky and I like how bold it is. I used it in my Asia Diaries design. But at the end of the day, no matter what font you use, you must choose a color that's legible. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to communicate with your text. So yellow is a go-to option for me. And I also like to experiment with red, green, and blue. And to make it easier to figure out the layout and the spacing, I found these motion graphic templates on Adobe Stock. And here's how I use these motion graphic templates to create cinematic title sequences in my videos. Let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro and with all your clips in a timeline, I'm going to change the editing panel to effects. Here you'll find your templates and also a way to search Adobe Stock right in Premiere Pro. For these clips, I want a title sequence that is retro, very colorful and punchy. And I have already saved one to my templates. So you can simply drag and drop it onto your timeline. I resize it and then under the properties panel, you can edit the text, the colors, the background. I love that I have a complete title sequence in just a few minutes and I don't have to go through the trouble of doing the animation or the keyframing. With just a few adjustments, I have something that perfectly fits my video project. Using templates also inspire me to experiment and go above and beyond. For this next motion graphic template, it is like a movie title screen and is saved as sequences. So you just need to open it up copy it, and then drag it on to the timeline you're working with. And from here, I changed the template almost entirely. I like using motion graphic templates as a baseline. It gives me ideas of where things should be placed. And then I get to hone in on the aspects of creating graphics that I enjoy, such as finding cool font pairings and adding little Easter eggs of information. And here is the title sequence in motion. Simply choosing the yellow color that pops well against the beautiful sunrise makes the sequence feel a lot more cinematic and since the layout is reminiscent of a movie poster or a trailer it prepares a viewer to experience the scenic landscapes in the video ahead today you learned how to make cinematic title sequences by using motion graphics templates from adobe stock including how to select the right font and ideas for color palettes for your next project check out adobe stock's motion graphic templates thanks for watching i'll see you later